think that's it. Go right back over and keep weaving till it's all gone. Just take what's left and just take it towards the front, like cross, like, like make an X with it. Any way you can leave it in, just anything you can do to strengthen the structure. We're, waving, we're weaving grapevines through our poles here to create a web, and we're going to stack pine boughs on top of this, and then we're going to pile leaves on top of that. When this thing is finished, it's going to look like an igloo of leaves, and it'll be waterproof and very warm inside. You done? All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys. Every decision that we make, every action that we take, has a ripple effect. We affect the lives of everyone around us. These young guys that are around us and young ladies, we don't think they're watching, but they are. Just keep that in mind. Lead by example. <clears throat> Get the young people out here. Just work with them. Just show them something besides video games and texting and smartphones and iPods and iPads. Get them out here and let them see something. Just do it. They'll love you for it. God will honor it. Your life will be blessed and enriched because of the experience. Let me give you a quick shot of these young people that are helping here. On the right is my son Clint. In the middle is my daughter Olivia. This is their friend Ken. And these are three young people that love the Lord. They're faithful in church. And we're just proud to have them out here in the woods. We just thank the Lord for them. All we're going to do now is just pound a whole bunch of sticks in the ground and lean them up against this framework to create the sides of this shelter. And then we're going to lace a bunch of uh, grape vines and green cedar limbs into them. And then we'll stack pine boughs against them and throw leaves on them and have the size of the shelter also. <laughs> 